Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a video on how to set up uh, your front kingpin suspension. Uh, most importantly, setting it up so it's bind free. Um, so you have uh, three points in which the kingpin makes contact. Uh, you have the upper ball, lower ball. You want to make sure that this kingpin goes right through, slides right through the lower and upper ball. Alright, it should just slide through. Uh, on its own here. Let's see here. Should just go right through like so. Okay. And it should do the same for the bottom one. Right there we go. Now, the most important one that you want to make sure, and which has the most surface area that the kingpin has to slide through, is the steering block. You want to make sure that that steering block uh, offers little to no friction on the kingpin. So let's just test it here. As you can see here, it slides through quite well. And so you're pretty much good to go like so. If it's not doing that, if it's not sliding through on its own, uh, on under its own weight, then you might have to take a 3.2 millimeter drill bit and, you know, just hone out some of the plastic. And you want to make sure that you uh, put the drill through this end and through this end here, okay? If you just go through one end, you're probably going to have the drill bit kind of wander a little bit and that could set the kingpin off on an angle and it will probably cause more binding so you want to make sure that you go through this way straight and through that way straight okay and then the kingpin will follow through the hole in a nice straight direction okay next is lubricant um a lot of people put kingpin lubricant on the car um act as a, a dampening uh this stuff here is uh Koyosho uh, 10,000. Um, what's important to do with this lubricant is you want to cover the whole um, the whole um, kingpin like so. All right. You see I put like a thin layer on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it thinly across the whole kingpin like so. Just a light coating. Okay. Try to cover it as best as you can. Now, before you put it through the three points of contact, what you want to do is just put like a little dab on there and on there. Okay, and maybe put it on the top of the block here. The reason why I'm doing that is once the pin slides through very well, if I did this when it was dry, the actual um, ball, the tolerances are so tight that it would probably shear off the lubricant off the shaft. So what I'm doing is I'm just pushing through the lubricant through the ball. So I'm still maintaining the lubricant on the shaft. Insert joke here. And then I do the same with the steering block and then follow through to the lower block. All right. And then what you do is you just clean off whatever excess uh, on the top, the bottom, like it's not as clean as what uh, I usually do, but this is just simply for demonstrations. Excuse me, for demonstration purposes. And, you know, just put your spring on, add everything all on there, and put your spring on, and you're good to go, and you should have a relatively smooth, dampened kingpin setup. Whatever you do, don't just add kingpin lubricant right where the spring is, because what will happen is a lot of... Uh, uh, tire debris, dirt, whatever it might be, will gum up in this area, and that would probably, you know, stick to the spring, and it would affect the uh, spring uh, uh, reaction. And uh, you want to make sure that you don't put globs of um, a kingpin lube on the spring itself. You want to make sure that that spring is clean, and uh, yeah, and that's how I do it. Okay, I hope that was helpful. So, yeah, if you have any questions or if you have any other methods of putting kingpin lubricant on your um, kingpin there, let me know. Okay, bye-bye.